Shannon. I'm Rob. Welcome to Build Up, the show about shows between the shows. We have Amanda Seyfried and Lily James here for Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Here we go again. Oh, I am so excited. There's a lot of lost ABBA songs that yeah. you might not have noticed or recognized. Some of my favorite ABBA songs are like the lesser known ones, like the B-sides. Yeah, like everyone's heard of Money, Money, Money and Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. But not anyone talks about scabies, scabies, scabies. Yeah. Oh my I god, I love that hit. song. You remember how it goes, right? Yeah. Do you? I think I, you know, I know it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, give me a second. It's like, um, <clears throat> I'm not a great singer, too. Don't judge oh, okay, me no too problem. harshly. And feel free to harmonize if you can. Something like, uh, scabies, 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 looking like some little red bumps, bur burying mites. Scabies, scabies, better get them checked by a doctor tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Right, everyone. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's a that's a hit. Then you know, I don't know. Yeah. I think it should get more airplay. That's all. A little more respect. Doctors are always singing that. I've noticed. They're always being like, you know, that Abba song, Scabies. I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, actually, there was a point when Agnetha was a doctor. Um, not everyone talks about that. Yeah, she that's a, a little known fact. Mm -hmm. She was a gynecologist, I believe. She was working mm -hmm. on that. Yeah. Um, True fact. So another song that people talk about. Everyone loves hits. These hits are familiar. Lay All Your Love On Me, Take a Chance On Me. Oh, yes, yeah, they're so freaking good, right? out. But um, when's the last time you guys heard Now Please Massage Me? Have you heard that one? Oh my God, it's so good. Especially when you're feeling all sore and stuff. I love putting that song on. You Hit it. made me dinner and poured some wine. Wow, beautiful. There's just one thing. Do you remember the music video? For you to try. They were just rubbing naked backs. Now please massage me. Massage me. Don't be gentle. I like it hard. Please massage me. Massage me. Need out my muscles. Oh. You know, that's so just, good. It should be more well known. And I don't think it made the Mamma Mia cut. And I'm kind of upset. Yeah, about you know, I'm really disappointed it didn't make the cut. Yeah. You know, like we all talk about Fernando and we're all obsessed with Chiquitita, but I love Paquito. Oh, remember Paquito. that one? Paquito. Remember Paquito, it was such a good song. You remember that one, right? Yeah, I love Paquito. Yeah, I remember it was like. Did you sing it for me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, It goes, Paquito, I can't forget about Paquito. Paquito, he was my neighbor in Puerto Rico. Paquito, he sounds like a nice guy. Paquito, but actually he's a bad guy. Paquito, and here is why. Paquito stole my pet rooster. Yes, that's true. Paquito made him soup. Sad, so sad. Paquito made me eat the soup. That's really rude. Paquito, sopa de pollo, Paquito. Have you ever eaten your friend in the form of soup? That's kind of messed up, Paquito. He's a really rude dude. You remember that one? I remember that one, and it's just really weird because yeah. I feel like that song sounds really familiar. Yeah, give it up for that. Yeah, right? Thank you, thank you. But you know, more and more hits keep coming for sure because what about that song, Head Over Heels? Oh, so good, right? Or Love of My Life? Mm -hmm. But what about the one called, I'm so obsessed with you, I want to wear your face? Do you remember that one? Oh, I love that song. I haven't heard it in so long, though. You haven't? No. Do you remember how it goes? I. It's like so, it's there, but it's not really there, you know, when you're like, it's right on the tip of my tongue. But I don't know, do you know it? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. It was like, um... I'm so, so, so obsessed with you. I like to casually wear your face. I'm so, so, so obsessed with you. I'm secretly living in your place. But don't call the cops, 911. Don't call the cops. We don't need to get them involved. Don't call the cops. No, 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 no. Everything's okay. I'm not going to murder you. 
Uh, remember that? Yeah, I remember yeah. that. And I love how when it's, yeah, give it up. Oh, thank was, you, thank you. I love when it's whispered, then I'm like, oh, now it's definitely going to be true. Actually. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's just like the, the hits just keep on coming. They're one yeah. of my favorite bands. Yeah. I love them so much. Well, you know, I'm glad that there's so many hits, but I guess, you know, maybe we've run out or something. Hey, yeah. Guys, guys, guys those, yeah? those are amazing, but mm -hmm. you remember the favorite song that you're supposed to play for me? I think we have a, a track of it, if you don't mind. Oh, okay, yeah. Do you remember sure. that one? Luke, we can uh, accommodate requests. Okay. Thank for you. Luke alone? Oh, okay. yeah. Let's what was this one? Yeah, something about... Yeah, what was Luke's the name of this one? Shirt. Uh, Luke's got a pants. It's called uh, Mr. Top Button. <laughs> yeah. He's Mr. Top Button. So I wore this today. Luke's got, got a shirt and Luke's got, got pants. <laughs> Mr. Top is Mr. Button. Top Button. <laughs> Whoa! Get him shimmy. He's shimmying all around. Don't stop all him too around. soon. <laughs> Look at him shimmy. His <laughs> top button's so tight now. Wow. <laughs> this is it's like... It's too. Give it that up was the best now. song ever. Yeah, wow. That oh was, my gosh. So, you know, that's another song that we yeah. just learned. That's so cool. Is it true that your parents named you after that song? Yeah. I've, yeah. I've only worn top button shirts since I was a kid because of that reason. Yeah. Oh wow, gosh. that's so, that's so funny. Fascinating, Luke. Yeah, yeah. That's so crazy. I, I think there's another one. It's probably my second favorite song. And what's that song about? Uh... It's about cherries, actually, because I used to love cherry pie when I was a kid. So, oh, okay, maraschino cherries. Oh, okay, maraschino cherries. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Cherries, cherries, they come in pie form. Cherries, cherries, you can lose them if you want. Don't lose them. Cherries, cherries, they taste really sweet. So sweet. Cherries, cherries, somebody should wash your feet. Oh, cherries, Luke loves cherries. cherries. <laughs> Don't take his maraschinos. Luke yeah. loves cherries. He's eating up the pie. Luke loves the cherries. He's gonna eat them with a spoon. Look at him go. Who eats cherries with a spoon anyway? You know what's crazy is that all of your favorite ABBA songs have a lot of lyrics about a guy named Luke. I know, isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah, that's odd. That's why they're my favorite band. Yeah, yeah. it's so cute. I didn't that's know you were an egomaniac. Yeah, it's that's what I'm named after, so. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. yeah, Chris, what are you doing We got this one more song. Really? Oh, what's that song? Hit the beat. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Ooh, do you remember what this one? I think this one was called I Missed My Train, I'm Gonna Be Late. Oh, yeah. yeah. We didn't catch the train. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh. Now we're, we're gonna, gonna be, be late. late. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh. Hope we don't get fired. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Someone call the cops. I'm gonna steal your face. Ooh, the she train is always late. Ooh, the She's train is always late. Somebody do the worm. Do you want to dance with us? <laughs> Come to the <laughs> you guys want to dance? Come on up. Dance, wants to dance, dance party. Now. We're stoked. Yay. This is a musical. Yay. Dance. Show me your best disco moves. Yeah. Come on. Couch dancing. Do some couch dancing. Move your arm. Get oh, a trumpet. It's the summer. So stick around. Ooh.
everybody. Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. Ten years ago, Mamma Mia went from the stage to the big screen and had viewers dancing in their seats. On July 20th, the sequel, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, will hit theaters, bringing back our favorite characters and introducing us to some newcomers, like Cher. Today, Amanda Seyfried and Lily James are here to talk about how the past and present collide in the new film. But first, let's check out the trailer from Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. I have a dream. I'm so glad you're here. I'm pregnant, but I don't know how to do this by myself. Your mother is the bravest person we ever met. Look at my baby. Let me tell you how she did it. All on her own. Life is short. The world is wide. I want to make some memories. This dress might look very pretty on. You really don't know me at all, do you? I think we should stay here together. Oh, I wish I could stay here too. Turns out he's engaged. I hate it when they do that. I was cheated by you, and I think you know when. Look at me now. Will I ever learn? I don't know how, but I suddenly lose control. There's a fire within my soul. Come on, girl! Just one look and I can hear a bell ring. I've never felt closer to my mom. She wasn't scared because she had me. Mama Mia, here I go again. My, my, how can I resist? We can't tell anybody else about the baby, okay? I just told Bill. Yeah, and I told Harry. I told many, many people. Whoa, whoa. Mama Mia, here I go again. Let's get the party started. Grandma, you weren't invited. That's the best kind of party, little girl. I should not have let you go. Everybody put your hands together for Amanda Seyfried and Lily James. Hey, hi. Guys, first I want to say this movie totally caught me off guard. I laughed, I cried, I was dancing in my seat. I know that sounds like a movie poster, but I really do mean it. It was so much fun. Um, so wait, I want to start first with uh, the premieres. That You guys look like you've been having so much fun. BuzzFeed like gave you guys a couple name. Did you see that? No. It was uh, um, Amanda Lily, but I think Lilando is better. better. Yeah, I think that's good. Just because you guys were all like, just it seemed like there was a real kind of sisterhood that was able to like, What was the first one, Amanda Lily? Amanda Lilly. Oh, which is just our names. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, please give me credit for Lilanda, because I think, yeah. I love that somebody even tried to do that. That means that, you know, they see us, that we've had an effect together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the internet, too. But what was the premiere like, just being there with all those amazing women, Cher, Meryl, the, the entire cast? It's the longest red carpet I've ever attended. Blue, it was a blue, long, blue, blue carpet. Yeah. It was like, but it was cool. I mean, when it was all the women together, it's an amazing lineup, and it's so exciting to be a part of it. Um, yeah, looking down the line, like, oh my god. <laughs> Although it was really kind of loud at a point, it got it got way too loud because I couldn't even do my interviews because they were shouting, Meryl, Meryl, yeah. share, share, like everybody that. So I knew everybody was there. I knew when they were coming in, um, but it was pandemonium, and I think. It, that tells you everything. People do have a really visceral reaction to this film. I went to a screening, and when Cher walked out, people clapped, and I'm like, you know she can't hear you guys. Like, you know, so just having that magnetism, you know, working with her and being in this film, like, was that just, it's fun, right? She's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I mean, what was your, when did you find out that it was gonna be Cher? So during rehearsals, I think, Ol mentioned that he, he wrote, so our director, Ol Parker, who's just 
incredible. He wrote it for Cher and was like, it's either Cher, Cher or Cher. There is only Cher. <laughs> and I think there was quite a long time back and forth when they were figuring out whether she was going to do it. She always seemed super enthusiastic and keen, but I think there was, you know, it was a moment of they were unsure, is she going to do it? Is she going to do it? And he was going to go and meet her for tea and then he wasn't. And it was all this kind of whole momentum building up to it. And then I just couldn't believe it. I was just like... Is this really, it was insane. What you, didn't you cry? I didn't, I, I was not privy to any of this because you guys had started rehearsing yeah. like six weeks before I even showed up. And I I came to London just to do rehearsals for a week and I finally met Ole Parker and I sat in his office and I'm like, so um, anybody else join the cast? And he's like, yeah, your grandmother is, is gonna be Cher. And I cried, I just teared up. So I didn't, I had no expectations. I didn't know what was going on. So that it was just much easier for me. It was less of a roller coaster ride. I love the time in this movie too, because Cher's your grandmother and Lily's your mom, <laughs> which is really that makes sense totally. It makes sense in only this world. <laughs> so Amanda, take me to this world because you obviously were in the first one, and ten years has passed. So how did you kind of approach this it differently this time? I I don't know if I had any approach whatsoever. I think my first approach for Mamma Mia one was just um, try not to uh, cry too much because of like where I where I was, who I was with. It was just the most amazing thing. And this approach was like try not to cry too much. Like this is so. How are we back here? I'm also very postnatal hormonally challenged right now and um it was I, I don't know it was so easy it's like a warm bath I came in and I saw all my old friends and I made some new ones and um I sang ABBA that was actually one of the first things I thought about after the movie was the fact that you are a mother now and that's so much the theme of the movie is this connection between mother and daughter yeah so were there moments where you did get kind of caught up in the emotion? Because it is such an emotional film at certain parts, you know, the chapel scene and all of that. Oh, God. Yeah. Like the, the um, I've been waiting for you with the dynamos, with Julie and Christine. That was just us as humans relating on that level. We all have kids and girls especially. And um, that was hard. I was always getting emotional when we shot that, even in the second day. And then the... <sighs> The last scene with, with Meryl and you coming in and us singing together, it was just really, it gets you so deep. In a, I mean, you don't expect it. Um, I did, I, I, yeah, it was a lot, but it's the best, it's indulgent, and it's nice to have something so cathartic to come to work and do. That was the thing. The first one is is purely fun. And this one, I really was surprised at how caught up I got and how emotional it was. And I almost enjoyed it more because it sort of like takes you super high and then brings you to this heart place for real. So Oh, it's such a roller coaster. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna see it again tomorrow with my mom. It's her birthday. And tomorrow it's opening day, which is crazy. So I'm stressed but also really excited. And I'm just excited to see what I missed. And like it's true. It goes, it starts so strong with you guys in the most like difficult epic number. And then kind of turns back around to like one of us, which is heartbreaking. And then goes back into Waterloo. It just it's it perfectly designed. Yeah. You are really locked in the entire time, yeah. for sure. And so, Lily, I know you were a fan of the, the stage show in the first movie. So you walking in and looking at the script and seeing all these big dance scenes and music scenes, like, what was going through your head? Oh, God, I don't know. It's all a bit of a blur now. It, I just... Um, I got the email through about it and my agents were like, we're not, you know, I'm not sure. What do you think? You know, do you think you'd like this? And I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> do you know me? This is like amazing. Cause I, cause I just have loved it all so much. I loved the first film. And I, so I think I was more excited than I was daunted. I mean, I was intimidated and I, and to take on this role by that Meryl created obviously was, was really, really, um, a lot to take in. But, um, and I know the music so well. So it kind of felt like there was an ease to it because it was so a part of me. It's like, you know, I've loved it for so long. It wasn't, you know, although there are some new songs that the song, well, not new songs, they're ABBA songs, but, um, <laughs> but they're lesser known perhaps if you're not a diehard fan. So uh, wait, I've been waiting for you and Dante and Dante. Um, I mean, even Angel Eyes, I didn't know so well. And they're 
cute. They're going to be hits. I mean, they're, I think they'll have a real second life. They're, oh God, they're so good. They're so good. And I read somewhere that you actually stopped talking for a couple of days or weeks before the film to prepare. I would imagine you were just really nervous to like hit all these notes and perform. Yeah, I, I'd just been on a really big press tour for Baby Driver and I all I'd done is talk mm -hmm. for so long. And I, and I really, my voice was shot to hell. It was just croaky and disgusting. And so it was me being really neurotic as usual, but it was also me um, being told by the doctor I had to shut up and I, I went on steroids actually and I, I just didn't talk for a week. I was in New York actually, I was visiting my boyfriend and I sort of just sat in, the, in, the ho in a hotel room just not talking. It's good, I mean, you didn't need to, but it's... Yeah. I was so scared of losing my voice that you get one shot at this, you know, to, we, we recorded with Benny and Bjorn from ABBA in Stockholm and I was like, God, I can't let myself down, I can't not be 100%, you know. Also, we just want to like, uh, we want to impress them. We yeah. want to be like, you chose us for a reason, here we are. <laughs> but the truth is they're so kind and so giving. And if we didn't like it, we could have gone back and done it again. But they're, uh, yeah, I mean, they make it really easy, but it is it's a daunting, like singing their songs, like we're another In front member of, like, of Ab, yeah. I think knowing that they're going to watch it and you're just like, what are they going to think? Did I do it justice? That's so much pressure, but you guys both nailed it, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm a music expert. You nailed it, so good for you. Um, so let's talk about the location. Uh, this place is beautiful. Where did you guys shoot? Was it Croatia, right? Mm -hmm. So that kind of seems like a vacation and work all in one a little bit. Like, I know you're obviously working your ass off, but like, was it, what was it like shooting there? And did you guys have some like fun nights? There's got to be another name for a working on a small, tiny, picturesque island while also swimming and doing all the things that you wouldn't normally do during work, but doing during work. It's like... What creates a new name for it? I mean, it's just, in, it's absurd, yeah. actually, getting paid to do that. Yeah, we took a, it was, I, I, it, what, it, what, it really was. Like, we took a speedboat to work every day. <laughs> as the sun was rising, and then as the sun was setting at the end of the day, we'd, we'd take it back. And then we'd just, like, jump in the sea on wrap, in, our, in, like, in my costumes, which didn't go down so well. But yeah, it was, it was just, it was, everything was just perfect. And we did all spend so much time with each other. You know, obviously our storylines didn't overlap, but we were all in Croatia at the same time. And we would have, it was tiny little, we were in an old town of Kukut. And there was only a few restaurants. And I remember just looking out to the harbor and seeing Amanda going across on a pad paddle board. <laughs> <laughs> that small. <laughs> yeah. They're like, is she? Should she be doing that? <laughs> Amanda out there? <laughs> I know. It, it was like the perfect place to get to know people and to feel like you're part of the whole, like everybody kind of came together. Like people, I remember the day Pierce arrived and the day Dom arrived and the day Christine arrived. It was just, they're like, when's their boat arriving? And, and it was just the schedule. It's just everybody finding each other again 10 years later. It was just so absurdly perfect. And then, the first dinner party that we all had when we were together was just so epic because we got all the like younger cast got to meet their counterparts and hang out with their counterparts. There's a famous, famous vi um, a picture of uh, Alexa <laughs> with Julie Walters in the foreground and me in the background going like this and Alexa <laughs> going like this and then Julie going like this because it's just things were getting out of hand and there was a lot of excitement. And we all got so overexcited that we got really drunk. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I think there was a moment where Alexa was, she, she's admired Julie Walters her entire life. I mean, like most of us have this crazy cast, but, and so I think that she was sort of hanging on Julie's <laughs> dress, like. <laughs> it was definitely oh supposed, like it was a, yeah, it, it, it just, it's, it tells a thousand stories, that picture. But that's just what we got up to all the time. And tell me about the three young dads, because they look like fun. What do you want to know? <laughs> oh I just kind of want to know, Everything. I want to know what it was like hanging out in Croatia with these three young dads. Oh, God, they're, they are amazing. <laughs> like, honestly, they, so they all live together in a villa in Viz for six weeks, and, um, uh, they're so, I mean, they're so talented. They're so funny. Uh, it was just so fun. I loved getting to have three male co-stars. It was great. And I actually went back and watched the first Mamma Mia after watching the second one. I would highly suggest that. It's so great. It's so much fun. And I was curious, uh, for you playing the young Donna, 
what did you study from Merrill? Did you try to pick up any mannerisms? Or, you know, what were the things that you sort of were focused on? Um, yeah, I, I really, really tried to um, kind of capture the essence of Donna and what she did, uh, what she created. And, and, I, and I did walk around my living room just watching it over and over and over and over again, like copying her gestures, her hand movements, how she stood like with her gravity and her hips and really rooted into the earth. And I thought that if there was a few little mannerisms that I got or rhythms of speech that, you know, without doing an imitation or trying to mimic her, that you, you there would be something that felt familiar. Um, and, yeah. yeah. I think you, you nailed it. There, I, and I'm thinking specifically of when she uh, is kind of first singing in the little cafe and it's like acapella for a second. And I was like, oh, okay, she definitely, mm -hmm. I can see the work you did. It was really cool as a fan to like see that, to see that. I see Donna from the first one, yeah. and I'm not gonna say Meryl, I see Donna throughout the entire movie. It's kinda crazy, I don't know if many people could have done that. I'm not, I know it's like embarrassing, like com complimenting each other, like, in, you know what I mean? But it's just, it's, you know, you know how hard it is because you did it, to like try to pick apart, like as an actor, pick apart what you wanted to take with you and what you wanted to do on your own and what kind of, like lilifying it, like I've been, like I said some uh, in another interview, and I feel like you you balance it out perfectly. Where it's not too, it doesn't feel like you're trying anymore. Maybe you were before you shot it, but when you're actually watching the movie, it's just your own thing. But the mannerisms you you see the parts of what Meryl brought to Donna in this Donna, it's like really hard. I mean, this is Mamma Mia. Here we go again. The sequel to Mamma Mia. And that's like a really hard thing to do for an actor. Um, so kudos, because yeah. it's like, I'm really excited to, to watch it again tomorrow, like because of that. And I mean, there's so many aspects, but man, that's um, difficult. That's why I asked a question, because I could <laughs> see it, and it was really admirable and really cool. I mean, obviously, you put on the overalls, and you're like, oh, yeah, that was, cool. Yeah, that's, that's what you're Donna, seeing, is the you know? overalls, but yeah. It was, there's so many other little things. Yeah, like all, everybody that got, had to play their counterparts you guys were all like in it. It was so much, so much of a challenge. And then we all just came in and played ourselves again. So like it was kind of like you all have big difference, <laughs> big difference. Uh, what was another kind of younger, older couple that you think like really connected, and they really played it well? Oh, yeah, I think. Well, I think all. I think they. Yeah. I, but I think that Jess oh is a young. I mean, it's is uncanny. That Tanya? Ta Tanya. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is so Insane. weird when they do their, when they like go like this. Uh, and Alexa, I feel like they're very they're so close to it. Yeah, it's. Insane. I felt like kajillion miles away <laughs> compared to them. You know, it was it was so impressive. It was, yeah, Tanya also just gets some amazing lines. Oh, God. There's one she's like, wash them off and bring them, and I was like, bring them to my tennis. Oh is my God, they're so they're on. So they're like the perfect comedy duo. Yeah. The way they were in the first one, they get that chemistry. It's. Yeah. Crazy, like the three of you together when you're doing your, um, what do you call it? That that hand, the... What is that called? What's handshake? it called? It's, it's like your special dynamo handshake, yeah. Yeah. Like a, it's, yeah, handshake. I don't know how many times you guys watched it, but it was, it's the same. It's exactly the same. Like, how cool is it that we get a context to this movie we collectively, hopefully, love and to see it all, like, the way it... I mean, we just get so much context in these characters, and, like, it wouldn't have been... It wouldn't have been as effective if, you know, it had been done any other way. I'm so curious, great. which character do you guys most identify with? Because there's a Sophie. lot... Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're so similar. <laughs> yeah. That was so oh easy. It's so, so easy. <laughs> How about you, Lily? Oh, Cher. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Yeah, sure. She's... Yeah. That made me think, I was like, if they were to do like a spinoff, I was like, who do you think would be a good spinoff? Like, I would love to see Tanya like on a college spring break. Yeah. I would watch a whole musical of that, yeah, I feel like. I would too. Just something really random. I would watch Harry just off on his escapades <laughs> as well, just like. I would just watch Harry watch other people. That's what <laughs> yeah. I'd want to do. I would, I really think we should do a shake up and each play somebody else. Ooh. I think I would. So who would you want to play? I would want to play Alexa's character. Yes. Really? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just also want to want to have that accent. Yeah, it's good. Oh, good. Can you get? Can you do an accent? Can you do it? No, I can only do a Cockney accent. <laughs> I sound horrible. I used to 
get made fun of when I do that all the time, but it's horrible. And I have to talk about the final scene really quick before we go to audience questions. It was so gratifying, and I don't know why. Like That's when I was just like, I caught myself being super cheesy, like mm -hmm. watching all the world sort of collide, and how much fun was that to shoot? Like, And how long did it take? What was it? Was it a few days? I think it was a Maybe like two. Yeah. Okay. I did like this much of it. But we were all kind of there in our lycra, <laughs> sitting around <laughs> together. And it was, it was when you walked into set that day and there was just like so many cast chairs and you just casually walked past. It'd be like Meryl, <laughs> Cher, call it. Like you just, it was very, because we were all there, there was a big, it, that day felt really momentous. And, and, and we were all dancing with like our counterparts and, you know, it was, oh, it was so fun. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Because our lives are just weird. <laughs> it was so fun. It's true. Confetti. Conf and there was fireworks oh. and like smoke. Oh. Take me back. I and I, from my research, I see you guys are both, your next projects are pretty kind of like dramatic, serious uh, films. You only want to go right? <laughs> after that. So what is it like, you know, obviously you're very versatile actors, but what is it like going from like these sort of more serious sets to... Mamma Mia, and confetti and fireworks and share. <laughs> I'm just used to nothing being like Mamma Mia. Yeah. I feel like Mamma Mia, like they all said that the first time around, they were like, this is something really special. Even the crew that were on it, they were like, this doesn't come around again. Meryl Streep said last time, it's criminal how much fun they had. And, and it happened again. And for us, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And I'm so, I'm so sad. This is my, my last, is that your last interview too of the whole thing? One more. Of the whole, it's, it's, it's over. No, it's not. Apparently, it's not. We could still talk about it. Um, just not as structured. <laughs> well, I say we cheers really quick to that. Yes. Oh, Why that's not? nice. I know. Cheers to little Mamma Mia. Thank you so much. You Thanks for being here to listen to us talk about it. Well, I, I have really a lot fun. more questions, but I think we have the audience, too, who's very excited to chat with you. So who do we have first? Right there. Hi. It is? Oh, yeah. Let it go. Um, my question is, um, if there's a Mamma Mia 3, what would you want it to be about? We always thought it should be Mamma Mia 3, the DNA test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With Maury, why not shake it up? Or Jerry Springer, isn't it Jerry Springer? Yes. That really started it's that. all of them? Or Jeremy Kyle, which is yeah. in, in the UK. Yeah, Larry's it's all gone wrong and they're on Jerry Springer, <laughs> like fighting it out. Honestly, it could be, ugh, I don't know. I would like to work... With, with Lily, maybe, in the next one, which would be yeah. ridiculous, because it wouldn't make sense, but would it? Mm. It could. Ghost. You can be a ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it clearly... Do you know works. what, though? I've always thought a really cool wish, if you could have a, have a wish, would be to go back and live, like, be a friend with your parent when they were young, oh so, like, in the 70s. God, yeah. So how cool if, like, you could come back and we could be friends in the 70s, mother and daughter, but friends... Like back to the future. That's a terrible idea. No, it's no. I'm with like you. Back Wait, to the future. Back to the future. Yeah. He got to hang out with his mom. It got a little weird, but you guys wouldn't get weird, yeah. and it would be great. You, oh no! Anything I was about to say you happen. could have relationships with the guys, and that would just no. That's with your dads. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. 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 But that's a good idea. Yeah. If Back to the Future could do it, yeah. we can do it. Absolutely. We just need a DeLorean. That's a really good question. Yeah. Next. Hi, um, I'm a dancer, uh, specifically an urban dancer um, here in New York. And so there's been a lot of movies um, and musicals that are featuring a lot more dancers and singers and stuff like that. Um, so um, if you guys have any advice about um, dancers or singers or artists having opportunities for kind of more upcoming movies and stuff, you know, maybe if we don't have like the same resources or haven't been like in the acting scene as much, if you guys have any advice for kind of getting opportunities to be in such and stuff like that. I actually don't know how it works anymore. I feel like the, the, everything's changed about how people get jobs. I feel like social media, yeah. I don't know anything about starting out in social media except for what I see. I didn't experience it because I was a teenager when I got an agent and I got like my first big break. And it used to be about big breaks, right? Just being lucky and well, working hard, but being lucky, really. And now I feel like if you just... I hate to say this, but build a social media following. I swear to you, that's how it, it, it's. It, you can't go wrong. Like people pay attention to you when you have social media followers, and 
it, it's I'm very confused by how, my relationship with that is sometimes is very volatile, but it seems to really work for people. When remember when YouTube, like Justin Bieber, didn't he? I don't know. Like, what's the... I don't know in terms of advice. I think that's pretty good advice. You have to, you know, continue, like, perfecting it, for sure. But I know a lot of people that are dancers in our movie, from the first one and the second one, they're all from the West End. Yeah. They all do theater. Yeah, they were all cast. I guess they went to auditions. And, but there must be open calls and, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Just as a get out there, you have to get your face seen over and over and over again. I don't know either. <laughs> it's, ch I mean, it's I, yeah. Hard. We'll, we'll get some answers for you. Yeah. But you're uh, probably incredible to watch. <laughs> um, I really commend you for being so good at what you do. It's really hard, <laughs> incredibly hard. Who's next? Um, have, had you guys ever been friends before the movie or like hung out before the movie? I appreciated an outfit she wore on a red carpet <laughs> once. And I texted my stylist and I was like, that outfit, where? What is it? I want that. She looks incredible. <laughs> and I bored you when I first met you about all the films that I love that you're in. And I really, really have loved and admired Amanda. Like, it was very surreal for me to be working with her. And in the first read-through, when I was sat four seats away from her, we had to sing at the read-through, which was terrifying in this really intense room. And I, and I heard her sing and I was... <gasps> You know, because it just makes you like, oh, it's so, ha it's like that's so. That's where we met. Yeah, and that's where we met. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I, I found out she was going to do the movie and I was like, yes, this is a real movie now. Oh, so it's like appreciating people from far and then, you know, getting to work together is just always what you want. It's like luck. Mm -hmm. I have an unrelated follow up that I meant to ask earlier. How do you guys react when people are like singing at you? Like, is that awkward? <laughs> like, when people are singing in your face, you just have to be like, like, is that hard to perfect? It depends on the, on the singer. <laughs> and, like, the circumstance, right? I haven't really had that yet. Is that, is that what's going to happen? I haven't had that. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, on the boat when he's singing to you, and I'm just like... Oh, you, I thought you meant random like, strangers. <laughs> oh, no, it's Oh, no, it's oh, great. Oh, no, I'm not strangers. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, it's horrifying. <laughs> It'd be horrible. <laughs> It's really fun. I think everyone should sing all the time. Like, I, I kind of only want to do musicals. It's so fun having singing at someone and with someone. It's like life is so much better. Oh, it's, it breaks the tension. It's so funny. It's, it's liberating. It really, it's like the best way to emote. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, what, it's the universal language. It's true. it's true. And one last question before we go. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm interested in becoming an actor, and I was wondering when you decided you wanted to become an actor, and what the steps you took to get there were. Well, I, I mean, I kind of always loved it as a kid, and just never gave up. Like I did it like out of school and stuff, and then I just loved it. And and then I went to drama school in London. There's several drama schools. I went to Guildhall School of Musical oh, Drama. Yeah. Yeah, and, and so therefore, then then you train for three years and then you, they, at the end of that, you do showcases where agents come. So I did it very traditionally. I mean, there's so many different ways you can do it. But for me, that was the steps I took. Um, what about you? I recommend that. I the, Some of the best actors I know have gone to theater school. I mean, drama school they, in, in the UK. It, they have the most incredible programs and they teach you everything. And my best friend went to Juilliard, but you don't have to go to Juilliard to, to become like, an, an actor and to, to get work. I didn't do anything. I just, I don't, I just got a job one day when I was 16 because I worked really hard to get it. But you don't have to go to drama school, but I re highly recommend it because although I don't re regret not going, I think I would have a lot of um, dis good disciplines, good places to fall back on if I had. So there are so many. My husband went to Circle in the Square in New York. It, it was incredible for him. It was like a two-year program. Yeah, and there's a lot of youth theatre. My boyfriend went to, in, again, in London, but it's called the National Youth Theatre. And um, I, th I really think that is an amazing way in, is doing, you know, th theatre whatever way, like in your community or youth theatre or whatever it is, whatever age you are. I think that, I mean, I don't know what Circle in the Square is. What is that? A it's, a, it's a college. College. Yeah, it's yeah. for when you're after high school, but... I certainly think that um, 
classes. Whatever you do, finish high school. How old are you? I'm 14. Wow. Finish high school and okay. act as much do as you as can around it. <laughs> like, if you live, breathe, love it and keep doing it, that will just, you'll keep getting better and your passion will get bigger and bigger and, and, then, and then you'll be unstoppable. Just just don't give up like you know and work in new york it. for sure work in new york stay here don't or, or la don't um try to come into cities because that's where people will find you it's a lot easier to find you if you're really good if you're in a city i had to i had a bus every day from when i was 10 like anytime i wanted to come into the city to audition for a job i had to bus in and miss school and it was like it was a balancing act but it's possible and with social media like i said um I don't know, actually. It's tough. It's cool, though. Good luck. Yeah. Thank I yeah. you. Yeah. All the best. In it's the world. really fun. Yeah. Keep Thank you so much. We love it. So, congrats. Good luck. Break a leg. <laughs> What's your name? Gigi. Gigi. Nice to meet you. Nice Amanda, to meet you. I love when you give advice and then you're just, you start thinking, you're like, oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's what great. I'm talking about. No, it's great. <laughs> I love it. It's super, yeah, it's good. It's well, well if you guys want to see all of the fun we've been talking about today, make sure you go see Mamma Mia. Here we go again. It's in theaters, July 20th. Give it up for, yeah, tomorrow. Give it up for Amanda and Lily. Thank you.